That, you like Trump? <coughs> Good girl. You like Biden? Come on, man. We cheated. All right, good evening. I don't know what's in the box. Come on, get a video of it before I, as I open it. Let's see, I don't know what's in the box. Damn, that's pretty cool. Evidently, it's a Texas store. 500. Look how this is packed. Let's keep up with all this packing material. Good God. <laughs> you know Trump would be better on a... Oh, 2024. There's a man right there. Damn right. Soon to be legal currency. Be nice. Amp has terrible reflect. Shit. <laughs> Not worried about power wire upgrade or anything. See if you can fix SWR. Not use it as a jack stand. A stepping stone. I'm sure we can fix it somewhere and have another fruit like that. Man, it's cold outside. It's cold in that box too. That amp's cold. That heat sink is cold sink. Been a good time. Alright. Damn, that's dangerous. Ground wire there, barely tacked on. I don't know if y'all can see that, but. See if I can zoom in to it. Taking a big on both sides of it, you can't see this side of that wire there. Uh this side's barely tacked on. This one is about ready to come up. It's, it ain't putting up too much of a height. I don't know, maybe just a couple wires tacked on decent, but these up at the top ain't no good. Let's see. Oh, that looks nice. Oh, that looks loose. That's a bad thing right there. Get over here in the uh, bison part of it, the bison resistor. 
this resistor right here. That. Nice. Nice job there. So it just has some reflect watts in it. Let's see what we can. I'd rather look at that. We said you want a power wire braid. If it was mine, I would, but damn. You pretty much on feeding it through them fuses. The way this is, the wire comes in, goes through the fuses. Alright, you want to talk about little wires? You know, a fuse is, it's that little wire. That's probably a 20 amp fuse, I'm going to guess at 20. I guess it's 30. It's got an F30 AL 250 volt. But you're putting all your power through that little bitty thin piece of wire there. I can't really see that because of the glare. But putting all that through that little thin piece of wire, and there's two of them. But that don't make it no better. I mean, I guess a ring is good to have a fuse, but closer to the battery would be the best. It shortens up the distance for the uh, for the wire. I'm guessing the majority of the trouble with this is these caps right here. These are DEIs in there, so. And there's nothing wrong with DEIs, as long as they're working, run them. You give a shit what nobody says. If they're running, run them.
They didn't say, well, it was reflect back from the antenna, reflect back from the radio. It didn't say. Texas Star. Yeah, lately. If you change the jump of length on it, uh, add a little bit to it. Back from the antenna. Add a three foot, four foot, five foot, six foot jump or whatever. It kind of looks back, looks better with that reflect back from the antenna. Got some reflect back in the antenna.
Hold. Hold. Try on the input side. See what it looks like. Oh, let me think about this. All right, good evening. We back on this one. Uh, let's see. We changed the input tune. Uh, I added. Uh, I know you said you didn't uh, want power wire upgrade, but uh, that's in on the price that I normally charge anyway. So I, that's. Just add it on in on that so you actually didn't pay for it but I done it uh, so it don't have any fuses now but this makes it run a little bit better believe it or not you believe it if you want to or not but it does make it run a little better I put caps on it instead of those little uh, uh, micro uh, caps took them off they normally fail any damn way even though these are uh, DEIs just took them off cleaned it up uh, this here was 
uh, unsorted on this side. It didn't have nothing holding it on. It was just floating in there. The ground wire, I connected it. It was uh, barely attached on there and there. Uh, put a bigger ground wire here. Uh, eight gauge wire there. Another wire from here to there. And this one is the original one. Well, from here to here, here to here, to instead of running through this little uh, solid wire bridge, it's running through silver Teflon there. New caps, and those things are not cheap. Uh, I've been getting them and been paying right good money for them. Too much money. Uh, this. Uh, resistor back here for the uh, for the bison was barely hanging on, pretty much not hanging on. I soldered it back down. Uh, that is very critical. If it don't, your voltage will go up on the input and it'll take out that transistor like that. Majority of the times when things happen to these amplifiers, if not overdriven, it's usually that that uh, resistor goes bad. Uh, and you got a whole mess. The yeah, voltage on your transistor is too high. Very first thing, if you're going to work on these, that's the very first thing to check is that voltage on that. And you can check that without RF going to it by going to be a short night to you. Uh, that's all you got to do is put a ground to your relay and uh, put the ground, just touch the ground and touch the, the leg on the. Uh, Kip circuit to uh, engage it. Uh, and it won't shoot the RF through it, and you take the bias and through it. You just put a voltmeter here, your hot here, and you ground to the side. That's the way I do it. Check your voltage going to that input transformer, both of them, or three of them. There's 600 uh, to make sure. These Texas stars, I don't know why they do it. The newer ones like this with this set of switches in it is different than the older ones. And they, ha ha they have some wattage coming back from the antenna. And it's backing back up into the amp. It don't have, the input tune looks great back towards the radio. But it has coming back from the antenna. If you're going to pull a dummy load, you won't see it. And that's the reason that app is here, is because the guy, I guess he has a setup like mine. It actually says on the power, uh, on the paper, it said an app has terrible reflex. And, uh, let's see. And the power... He's the, I'm guessing, I'm pretty sure the reflect was back from the antenna because it did have a reflect uh, back towards the radio. And I'm going to show you exactly why. This is radio, which I've got it down some and it still didn't have much in it then. It's got, it had 240 right here in the amplifiers, the input on a 500. This is a 500 or a 400. It comes through here, goes through there, goes through this relay, comes back up, goes through here, and then ends up here and there, and then back over to here, over there. But it's where you tune your input, right here. You tune your input here. Your output is here. It's 100. They put 100 on, I used to be 91. The book calls for 91. They went up to 100, and uh, it works out good, metal clad. Works out good. It actually works better with a hundred and I tried a ninety one in it and uh it works better with a hundred than it does a ninety one. And a metal clad flows a little bit better on output power like that. It it's actually better than a cap. Uh sometimes. Uh but they're not uh it's you know, I'm not that kind of worms. But uh Here's the input tune. Here's the output tune. It's the output combiner, the input combiner. 
Well, this is a combiner, combines these two together, and then it combines them, uh, or combines it back into one, I guess we'd say it. Fuck, I don't know. I ain't got to the point, I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. You get it. Uh, either way, it comes in, combines it, this one goes in, goes off two, goes from here to here, that's what this wire is, here, here, that's the input. It goes through your amplifier, goes through here, comes out to this leg, it goes, this amplifier is being in stage two, both of them at the same time. It comes out of this one, goes on this leg, and it's the output. Output, the uh, transformer, and my battery's going dead. Oh, I know, I didn't run out of this space. That's what it is. I don't know how the hell I filled that up. But anyways, uh, so I've changed that cap. These caps here were 14, 15 hundreds. They're 1240s now because they got the DEIs on them, in them. Um, this is, I guess, a new one because it had the uh, surface mount. But it's doing good. If I can get this on here without running out of space. Alright, reflect back from the radio. You want that as low as possible. And it was low before. This uh, is in peak. That's 400. And it's, with this radio hit, it's only doing about 450, I think. Oh, about 425. But, you look, the reflect back from the antenna was over to about 30 watts. And it would swing back to about five. Now, old, old, reflect coming back to the antenna. I mean, going back towards radio from amp to radio. Old, old. And you say, well, that ain't working. Well, as a radio, put a half a watt in it. It's working. Old. Oh, uh, it just, it's, uh, really good. And the way it went about fixing this, and I need to write this down, my memory ain't as getting as good, my memory ain't as good. I fixed this a couple of times, and it was hell to find this in the first one. Uh, it's got a wire, it runs from here to here to here to here. With that wire, if you take that out of line, clip it, clip it to unhook your power from it, clip it, clip it, and clip it from here to here, and just leave it to here, that reflect back from that antenna goes away. You see what it done? It went away. So, take it for what it's worth. Uh... It's just how it fixes it. I don't fix like 20 or so like that. Uh, <laughs> and they're four and in between because, believe it or not, Texas started to make different versions of this and they did switch them around a little bit. Uh, I just worked on five yesterday. Uh, boy, come down from Florida and brought... I think it was four. I think it was four plus this one. But let me stop because it's, uh, I'm running out of disc, uh, disc space on my little cord and I ain't got another one. I take it upstairs and upload it to my computer, which is going to take two hours. All right, then. Y'all have a good day. Later.